there are an alarming amount of Wendy's in Atlanta. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here today, my name is Odds and I'm going to be doing a video about things I learned living in Atlanta. So this is the, I'll say, this is the second city I've lived in on my own. Um, I'm from two smallish towns in Florida. So th this has definitely been a step up. I previously lived in New York City. So that was, that was probably the biggest change. And that was the first city I lived in. So I have a video about living in New York City. Um, this is going to be the Atlanta version of that. If you're new here today, I would love for you to subscribe. I do two videos a week, um, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, Marvel, DC, the boys. There's something on this channel for everyone. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you like this video while you're watching or find it helpful, make sure to give a big old thumbs up and we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get started. I also live right by an interstate. So there's going to be some sound quality issues probably. Um, whenever you film on a phone and I don't have my microphone, it's going to be a little bit so-and-so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I took a little notes on my notepad here. Um, so, um, first one, there's like a couple in here that are all related. So I'll just start off with a general, you will need a car if you live in Atlanta. Everything is at least 15 plus minutes away, at least from where I live. If you lived prime downtown, maybe that's not the case, but you're still going to have to travel out for other things. Like, yes, if you lived right, say, in Atlantic Station, you would be an easy access to a Target, you would be an easy access to an Ikea, um, and a public. So you'd be able to get most of your stuff done, but if you want to get to your job, which you probably have, your job, your, hopefully you have a job. Um, your office is probably not downtown. A lot of the offices are up in like Dunwoody, which is north of the city. So you will definitely need a car to drive there. And if you want to go to any like, I want to say I want to go to a Braves game, which that stadium is in Smyrna. So you're going to need to drive to get there. Um, sure, you could Uber, you could Lyft, but um, it's going to be a little easier if you have a car. That being said, too, there is a public transportation. Um, again, I don't live downtown, so I don't take the MARTA, which is our public transportation. Um, there are some buses by me um, that I could theoretically take, but knowing how buses are from my experience with New York City. I know they're gonna take forever, so it's easy to just hop in a car and go. Now, obviously, car payments, gas prices is a whole other factor, so I totally understand that. But I'd say unless you're living prime downtown, then you're most likely gonna need a car. And even if you are living downtown, everybody I know who lives in Atlanta has a car, so you're gonna need a car. Along those lines, having access to a highway is really ideal. So, now my air is on. <laughs> oh God, I needed it because it's really hot here. Having access to a highway is ideal. So living near, relatively near one of the beltways is pretty good. So it helps you get around. Um, so while I don't live downtown, I live relatively close to downtown. I take, I live about 15 minutes away. Um, I can get there taking the highways. Um, and then like to get to the Brave Stadium is a 10 minute drive away from me. To get to Six Flags is a 10 minute drive away from me. So I live very close to the interstate, which is really helpful for stuff like that. So I think that's definitely a bonus. Um, if you can look for something that's close to one of the beltways, that would be ideal. Next is there is a wide range of weather. Now Atlanta surprisingly gets really cold. Like it snowed two or three times this year. Now nothing crazy, but 
there was snow on the ground in the south. It's kind of wild. Um, so that's definitely something to be considered and it gets really hot. So we're just now getting into the summer. Um, it's called Hot Lana. Um, I'm used to the heat because I'm from Florida. So if you're not used to like the Southern heat, that's definitely something to be considered. Also, it is landlocked. So while I'm used to the Florida heat, I'm usually used to a sea breeze. Now there's no sea breeze here. So it's more similar to like Orlando times 10 because you're not by any water. So that's definitely, I keep saying that's something to be considered, but really keep that in mind if you're not used to the extreme weather differences. That being said, New York City gets really, really hot as well. So I'm kind of used to it on that aspect too. So I don't think there's, with climate change, I don't think there's a lot of places that don't get really, really hot anymore. A kind of a uh, scary one, <laughs> avoid Lenox Hill Mall. It's really dangerous. Um, I know there's been some stuff in the news um, and like relative gangs taking over um, places like involved with like rappers and stuff like that. I don't know too much about that. I've only heard it from my friend. Um, but I've, there's been several shootings at that mall. I went to that mall not knowing anything about that. So just to be aware, it's not a very safe place to go. So I would say avoid that. Um, in terms of shopping malls, Cumberland kind of sucks. It's just really small and doesn't have anything special. I would suggest the Perimeter Mall in Dunwoody. That's probably your best shopping mall experience within the Atlanta metro area. We're going back to the cars for a second and we're going to talk about traffic. Traffic is abysmal in Atlanta, and I had heard that, and I will tell you that, and you will not believe how abysmal it is, but it is absolutely abysmal. It's terrible, terrible traffic. So, yeah, I mean, you got your car, but you're gonna be sitting in traffic for in your nice new car. Hopefully you got some AC, because it's really hot coming into the summer. And yeah, you're probably gonna sit in traffic. So that's just the way it is. Um, it's not as bad as like Los Angeles or New York. Um, New York obviously has a better public transportation system though. So kind of have to take, take one, take one there. Kind of fun one. <laughs> there is a plethora of Chick-fil-A's and Wendy's. Um, now, Chick-fil-A is based out of Atlanta, so that makes sense as to why there's so many Chick-fil-A's, but there are so many Wendy's. Like, I live near three, and there's like three within a 10 minute drive of my house. That's crazy, why are there so many? And I'll just be driving and be like, oh, there's another Wendy's. Like, why are there so many? I love Wendy's, so I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying there are there are an alarming amount of Wendy's in Atlanta. Kind of talking about travel, um, if this is, if you have to go through the airport, um, Hartsfield-Jackson is one of the busiest airports in the United States. Um, I definitely suggest getting there three hours before your flight because I've almost missed my flight at least three or four times that I've been there, I've almost missed my flight. So I would suggest getting there about three hours beforehand. I usually leave my house three hours beforehand, but that's not even cutting it this time. So, um, cause I do the whole like park and use the parking shuttle and go to the airport and do all that fun jazz. But um, definitely try to get there about three hours before. <laughs> I would definitely recommend doing that. Um, the airport itself is pretty nice. Um, it's it's nicer than say your Orlando airport. It's definitely nicer than LAX. Um, I'd say it's pretty on par with JFK. I really like JFK. Um, I know people don't, but it's pretty on par with JFK. So it's really large and it's relatively nice and, and renovated in there. So it, it feels put together. From my experience, I would have to say for best 
spots to go to bars and restaurants would have to be Decatur and East Atlanta Village. Um, there's some fun spots in the Battery, which is where Tourist Park is, where the Braves play. Um, and there's some fun spots downtown, but I think like in order to find parking and to um, easy proximity to my apartment at least, um, those spots are definitely really good. Um, they have a lot of, it's a, a younger crowd. Um, Atlanta's a very big gay city as well, so there's a lot of, um, gay people around <laughs> good good restaurants and bars um for that scene so um that's that's a plus <laughs> a little bit outside of uh downtown there are a lot of really good hiking trails i haven't personally been to them but i know a lot of ladies are into hiking um and there is a lot of there are a lot of hiking trails. I know like my brother's been to hike some of the hiking trails. We're really close to Stone Mountain. Um, so you get a lot of good, good hiking done on the mountain there and then just different trails for all levels of hikers. So I definitely wanna check that out and um, maybe it will be in a future vlog here. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Um, and then my last part is a little sad. Um, but rent is creeping up despite it having a low cost of living. Now, Georgia has a low cost of living, but Atlanta is a city and a city is going to be expensive. That's just the way that it is. But it was one of the relatively cheaper cities that I was looking into moving to. Um, my other option was Dallas. Now, Dallas is still on the table. So maybe in a few years you'll be seeing me do one of these videos for Dallas. So who knows? Um, but it's getting really expensive. <laughs> um, just trying to find a new spot is going to be a little bit of struggle. Like I don't live downtown for several reasons, but I don't want to pay $1,700 for a one bedroom apartment downtown. So that's not going to happen. Um, and $1,700 is like the low end for living downtown. <laughs> um, definitely want more space like I have a lot of space here where I'm at now um but I'm looking for something else to be a little bit better for my second year here um now I've only been here since October so seven months um but I feel like I have a pretty good lay of the land so um definitely going to be looking at other places probably in Smyrna um, and whenever my lease is up in five, less than five months, I will give you a new apartment tour and I can show you my apartment tour if you haven't seen it of the apartment I currently live in. So, um, I will put that in the description box down below if you want to check that out next. Um, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Have a great rest of your day whenever you're watching this. Take care. Hope you're staying safe. And I will see you on Friday with a new video. Bye.